Hey guys, welcome back to Allie Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. Hi, I'm Mama McManus. And I'm Allie, and on today's episode, we are bringing you a Mama McManus original, mm -hmm. bunless Mexican burger. Right. Well, so I experimented with a few things, and we were using in this particular recipe some black beans, different spices. I kind of just went with the spices that I liked and um, I'm excited about it. We tried it out yesterday and it was really good, so we're excited to share it with you guys. Part of the reason why we made this burger bunless was because if you do want to put on a bun, we recommend putting it with two patties right. just because they're not as thick, but they're super delicious and I think if you're going low carb or no carb, this is gonna be the summer burger for you. <laughs> well, plus, far better than that vegan burger we oh, did yeah. a few weeks Way ago. Better. Way better. Way better. So this is all fresh ingredients and I think you're going to really, really enjoy good. making it. Yeah. So if you guys want to see how we made this bunless Mexican burger, keep watching. So to start making this burger, what you're going to want to do is open up a can of black beans, rinse and drain them, and then add them into a food processor. And you want to blend them in the food processor until they are chunky. Right. It's very important not to blend them in the food processor until they're really smooth. So you're going to prepare your vegetables and you're going to chop up a handful of mushrooms, one small onion or a half a cup of chopped onion. Then you will put those into a food processor. It's important to process them until they're smooth. And then after you have your vegetables processed smoothly, you're gonna add that into the bowl that you had your black beans with and combine those together. And then once that's done, you would put that in the fridge for about an hour to chill, and that helps bind the ingredients together. After an hour of chilling, you can take your burgers out and you can start to form your patties. We recommend that you make them a little bit thinner and smaller just to help them keep together. After you've formed your patties, guys, you just want to dust them in some breadcrumbs on each side. Then we have our patties made and sprinkled with breadcrumbs, we are going to bring them over and start to fry them in a little bit of coconut oil for about four minutes on each side. Right. And they look like burgers. They do look like burgers. They do. Alright guys, so that's how you make these Mexican bunless burgers. As you can see, it's pretty simple, yeah. easy to do, definitely would recommend trying it And they look summer. like burgers at the end of the day. They do look like burgers. And again, it's really important to just put whatever flavors you want into this. So you could put salsa, barbecue sauce, anything yeah. that you really like. The main purpose of these burgers is that you want to have the rice to kind of make it have more of the Mexican feel and also to help bind the burgers together. Right, and so I use black beans, but you could use chickpeas if you wanted to. Lots of That's different things you can do. But we're gonna dig in now yeah. because we're a little hungry. We are. Mmm. Okay. Oh yeah. So good. And really, really nice. I was worried that we had a little bit too much coconut oil in the pan when we were frying it, but I think that mm -hmm. worked out fine. It added, it added some additional flavor. And it has a little bit of a kick and a little bit of spice for you guys who like spice. So. So we would definitely recommend trying this burger out this summer. It isn't like a typical hamburger. We're still working on that, but this is such a good Mexican summer burger and we hope you guys liked it. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. I'll put a button down below here. As well, follow us on Instagram because usually when we're trying out these recipes is when I'll make Instagram stories and kind of give you sneak peeks of what we're doing. So definitely follow us on Instagram. 
It's at Ally Can Cook. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day or evening or morning or whatever you're doing. And we will see you next Thursday. Bye guys. Bye guys. We're gonna watch um, Jillian now. Mm -hmm. Hello. So.